cool. So what right now? Okay, we we've learned that we can um, uh, how we can write terms, but what can we do with them? Well, there's two basically two uh, two operations you can do with. Uh, let me figure out if I can. I'm trying to grab uh, the Greek letters because I have not had time to set up this VM to use my usual key bindings, which um, have uh, all the Greek letters on shortcuts. Um, maybe we just don't care about it. Uh, yeah, maybe we don't care. Why? Forget. Yeah. Okay, we don't care. We will not use them. Forget. It. Right. So there. Um, since Sorry. we use the same interface, if you want. Uh, no, it's fine. Let's it's fine. Okay. Let's, let's just let's just uh, not worry about that. Okay. So there are uh, two main operations we care about right now, right? First of them is alpha uh, equivalent, and the second one is beta reduction. Or, no, reduction. Uh, and with these two things, uh, we'll be able to do interesting things with lambda terms, right? Okay, so let's see what the first one is, right? Uh, alpha equivalence. Right, so what does alpha equivalence say? Well, it basically says that you could, like given some term x, yeah, you can always rename it. So you can do this x is it takes the value of y, right? This is the rename. Yeah. And then after that, when you evaluate it, it the result is y. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So it's basically just search and replace. It's it's literally how you can think about it. Um, and what this and it why is it called equivalence? Because we consider these things to be a, a perfectly equivalent, right? So if you rename a variable to a variable that well. There's a trick here. Y must not already exist in the expression. So let's look at a different example. So if you have something like uh, lambda x dot x with uh, y and z here as uh, like kind of like this, oops, right? And if yeah. you wanted to replace here the y, why does it do this? Uh, the y with something else, like with some value, uh, like with a different thing, you couldn't replace it with. Uh, well, I guess you could. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Actually, it's, there's no problem. You can even do that if you want. But I mean, actually, it's not really the same thing. Because if you replace uh, y with z, then you get, um, let's see, you get the same things. Oh, no, I, I was actually, okay, this is not the thing I wanted to copy. You get something like x, x dot x and then uh, um, z, z, right? But the thing is, from this, you cannot go back to this, right? Because if you replace z, then both of them will change from now on. Right, so you can never get back to this, and that means they're really no longer equivalent, right? So you kind of need whenever you do this, when when you want to use alpha equivalent, you kind of need to have something that's fresh. It's called right, something that doesn't already exist here, just mm -hmm. to be safe, right? And then you can yeah. definitely say that they're equivalent. Uh, like these two expressions are not equivalent, right? But if you replace it with a, then this is a z, and then that, that's fine, right? Because we can always replace this a back to y, right? We can always do the reverse. Um, yeah, it makes sense. Okay, cool. So this is the first operation. It might not seem very important, but you, you'll see immediately why introducing this replacing thing is, is important here. Um, okay, and then we have beta reduction. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, let's say you have something like this, uh, and then you have this thing here. So basically, what beta reduction says that if you have two things that are next to each other, so we have we're using rule three, right? The rule where um, uh, you have two things next to each other, right? Yeah. Uh, why doesn't why isn't scroll working? Yeah, it kind of looks like a face, doesn't it? Um, and then you, you have like, so if you have this, like two expressions next to each other, and the one on the left is a lambda term, like, sorry, a lambda, yeah. a lambda x abstraction, right? This lambda, lambda x something. And then whatever you have in the right, you can basically apply. So you can think of it kind of like a function which takes an x and returns something, like this lambda abstraction. And then this is its argument, y, right? So the way we write this is we basically say, okay, when you have this, you can apply, uh, so let's do, how do we write this down? Because I usually have uh, a notation for this. Um, so let's just do, we just write beta here, right? Okay. And when we do this, what happens? So we basically say, okay, well, 
this thing, this is called, so if this is a lambda abstraction, yeah. this is the lambda head and this is the lambda body, right? So the thing here is the head and the thing here is the body. And they're separated by the dot thing, right? So we basically throw away the head, right? So we just keep the body, like X is the body in this case here, right? This X. Yeah. And then, and then we say X takes value of Y. Right, because it's basically like, this says for any X, I will return X, right? But this says, okay, I will pass you Y as a, like as your uh, argument. Mm -hmm. And then basically it says, okay, well, if you pass me an Y, when I have an X and then I replace X with Y, then the result is Y. Right, and this next thing is exactly a alpha equivalence, right? So the beta step basically removes the structure, right? Removes this uh, lambda X from the head and then does this replacing, right? So removes this and this and like creates this alpha equivalence uh, operation, right? So let's look at an example that makes sense as from a programming point of view, right? Uh, like a, a bit more, a slightly more practical example. So let's say that we have this lambda, which uh, if you give me an X and you give me a Y, I'll give you X plus Y, right? Let's say that this plus thing already exists from somewhere else and we can use it, right? And then let's say that instead of variables, let's use let's just use numbers, because why not, right? So this, this this is basically represent a function that adds up to numbers, right? That 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 should make sense, right? And then we have one plus one and two here. We pass them as parameters. Okay? Yeah. So then how do we evaluate this? Well we start by applying beta reduction. And then we say, okay, so let's see. We always start with the first argument here, right? So the, the, the closest one, it, we kind of like, uh, we always evaluate from like left to right, right? So this is a function. We can think of it kind of like a function. And then the next thing is, okay, we apply the first argument here, this one, right? So this one goes into the place of X, right? Yeah. So we remove the head. So we do uh, lambda Y, right? Because the, the head disappears. So we write the okay. body, the body is this thing, right? And then we say X plus Y, right? So I basically just copied this part, right? Mm -hmm. And then I say, okay, X, which I removed, takes the value of one, right? And then we also write the two. We don't have, we have to not forget the two, right? Because it's, it's still yeah. there, right? And then we do alpha here, right? Because we need to like do this replacing. And then the result is lambda Y, one plus Y, right? Yeah. And two. Right. Mm -hmm. We don't have to, we have to not forget the two. Then we go beta here and then we do the same thing, right? We have a, uh, like an abstraction here, a v something here, doesn't matter what. And then we, we remove the head, like the, the, the leftmost head, right? L like we did here, right? We, yeah. we can't just uh, pick anyone we want, right? Yeah. Um, right. And then we remove it. So we just type one plus Y because that's the body, right? Yeah. And then we say y equals to 2. So yeah. the result is 1 plus 2, right? Which, okay. if you want, we can even evaluate to 3. Yeah, okay. So, so far it makes sense. Okay, cool. Um, cool, cool, cool. So, do you want to try evaluating an example yourself, just to make sure you got it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's let's try to write something. Um, I'll try to not make it too complicated, but it's Can I be... make three of them? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, let's yeah. do that, right? X plus Y plus Z. Does that make sound reasonable? Yeah. Okay, I think you can grab control and try right try working through it. Okay. So basically you said that now we apply the beta reduction, right? Yep. And now now it goes to um, okay so the first one disappears the head mm -hmm. so i only get the what it keeps scrolling to where you are i think okay let me go full screen let, let me okay. let me move my cursor away maybe yeah, that no, will help. Now. okay now we use the separator for uh mm -hmm. yeah it looks good so far uh, i'm having a Wait, and now it's, uh, wait, it's still X plus Y plus Z, right? 
Uh, yeah, but you're forgetting uh, you're forgetting something. Uh, maybe it's easier. You, you can just copy paste everything here, right? You kind of forget this Z thing. Uh, right, because like you're killing this head here, right? The X which you killed. Oh, so I forgot the Z. Yeah, exactly. But you you you, you literally can just copy paste it if you don't want to type it. I, I'm totally fine with that. I was just typing it because I'm I don't know. I like typing. <laughs> Okay, okay. Right, yeah. but if it's easier for so, you, it's totally fine. Now to just... I also have to add the Z. Yep. Now I close. And it's. Uh... Wait. You could also not worry about parentheses if you want. I don't really care okay, much about but... that. And now it's uh, X plus Y plus Z. Z? Yep. No, it. Yep, yep, oh, that's oh okay, okay. No, I'm just having a. Don't worry, it's 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 not easy. Yeah, it's I'm, not I'm easy sorry. to do coding while people are watching. Don't worry, I yeah. know that that's hard. So. Yeah. Um, uh, where x is one. Yep. And now I have to add the other two. Is it two and three? Yeah. Although I think you kind of messed some parentheses there, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I was looking at, but I, I don't know. I think it should end here, not here. Uh, yep. Yep, and that, like you could also add parentheses from like here to here, like around this term, if you see what I'm highlighting, just because uh -huh. it was here before, right? But th mm -hmm. that's just for like, usually you don't, th those are optional, right? So they're, they're there just to guide you, not, not make mistakes, right? So <laughs> it's up to you if you add them or not. Um, you could just continue. It's totally fine what you've done so far. Now we go back to the, oh, uh, did I add the lambda? No, I did not. Okay, so now I get again the lambda z, and now we just replace the x with one. Yep, yep, that, that's and that's this correct. should be it. Um, and you, you can... I still have to add mm -hmm. the arguments. Yep, with two and you three. You forgot a dot here, but that's just syntax, so ah. it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's still it's good. Okay. So now what what do, what do you do now? So now I go and cut uh, the next uh, the body. Mm -hmm. So I only have the Z now. Yep. And I should have one plus. Uh, it, it's Y because I didn't apply the beta reduction yet. Yep. Yep. And two and three, and now we get the beta out. Um. And Wait. Well, no, 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 no. So right now you, you kind of did the bet already because we removed the Y, right? So you need to move this, like the, uh, yeah, yeah. this and it line moved. up, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you need to do the renaming here. Wait. Uh... Yep. That, then it's correct now. And I think now you need to, like, what else is wrong here on this line? Okay. So I apply the beta and this should be a two. Well, right. no, 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 not directly, because you need to do this kind of thing, right? The uh, ah, yeah, yeah, this step, right, is what you're forgetting. Mm. Right, so it, it goes right after this parenthesis, right? You need to do like. Uh, oh, I have to give the value to y. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. My bad. And don't worry, it's the first time you see these things, right? So, but is yeah. it is it uh, one? Is that correct? No, it's two. Okay. Cool. Yep. Okay. Yep. That's good. That's good. It's good now. So uh, next step, you just evaluate the search and replace, basically. Um. Okay. So I don't use this anymore. It's just one plus two plus three. Well, not yet, right? Not yet. Not we yet. Evolved, yeah. We we still have we have not touched because this yet. I didn't uh, give Z a value yet. And you also oh. you also did not remove the Z head here, right? So it's kind of like the steps alternate, right? When you do beta. You, you remove the head, but when you do the rename, you don't change it anymore, right? Um, so uh, basically, so right, right, look at this. Like first line, we remove the X with beta, right? Oh. And then we have this line where we do the renaming, right? But the next line, nothing changes from the above except that X becomes one, right? And then we do beta again, and then we, we like it gets smaller. 
nothing happens. Correct. Uh, it, yeah. it gets smaller and then X becomes Y. But then uh, this line, so look at this, these two are the same. And then this line also needs to be like this one. Yeah. Because right yeah. now you just do this one single step. You just rename Y to two, right? So you still need the Lambda Z and everything else. You just, uh, the only difference is that uh, uh, Y becomes two, right? Yeah. Okay. I got it now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, now it makes yeah. more sense. And now you you okay. you're missing. Now I, uh, mm -hmm. uh, sure, you can do it at once. But normally, if you were going to follow the same pattern, you just type uh, three here and then do beta and then do the replace later. But you can, if you do this, then you also need to remove this from here, right? But ah. if you were going to follow the same kind of pattern, then you just do, uh, do just a simple beta, three yeah. here and beta, right? You, you, yeah. Yep. Okay. And you, you, so, you're leaking your email address on stream, by the way. <laughs> ah, well, they can add me and we can talk <laughs> for business Run inquiries. Wild. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, one plus two plus three. Uh, and can you, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, again, you, you've, you kind of jumped over the step where you type Z here and then do the replace. I keep forgetting the, <laughs> yeah. No, but it's fine. Like, for example, the way I do it is I skip those steps, right? But I think it's better for you to do them so you, it's, they're clear in the beginning, at least, right? The first yes. few times. Yes. Okay, so now I get the, I did the beta and now it goes again like the Z. And now, so when you do beta, you remove the lambda, the leftmost lambda, right? So you kind of, yeah. you, this gets removed, but you still have Z on the right hand side. Like it's kind of like this line, right? Where, um, I'll let you finish typing first. And then you do, yeah, yeah Z equals to three, right? And then now is the the time where you you ran out of everything like of variables and everything. Cool. My yeah. time to shine. Okay, so I'm sorry <laughs> for being a bit clumsy. No, no, don't worry, don't I'm worry. I'm also a bit nervous, you know. So yeah, I, I, I don't, don't worry. I understand. Smallest perfect number. <laughs> <laughs> we have number people who are interested in number theory here. Uh, <laughs> cool. Yep. So this this looks good, right? Cool. Yeah. Um, Okay, so now let's look at, let's, I will do one more example for you. Joel says he's judging you. I, I'm sure he's kidding. <laughs> right, so let me give you a few more examples, which will turn out to be interesting examples later. Uh, and then I think we're, we, we can start uh, doing some, something more interesting. Um, okay, cool. So let me, let me do one example for you and then uh, I'll maybe have you do another example. We'll see. So let's write something. So let's say, if, uh, let me think for a second, because I've really not prepared very well for this. <laughs> um, actually, let me, hmm, how hard should it be? Maybe not too hard. Uh, oh, I'm not typing in the correct way. Um, so let's say F, X. Um, Whatever, something like this. Uh, let me add a few more parentheses just to make it simpler. Um, okay, so basically what I'm trying to show with this example, and I have, I'm not really sure what will happen when we execute it. It will probably, it might, uh, we might change it as we go along if it, it turns out to be a boring example. Um, okay. But basically what uh, I'm trying to show is that uh, you can have a quote unquote function on the left hand here, but on the right hand, you can also have a function, right? And so let's see what happens now. Uh, so what, what do we do first? Uh, I'll do the writing, but maybe you can try to guide me. Yep. So what can we do now? Now we give the values, right? Like, uh... Yeah, we do beta, right? Because that's the only thing we ah, can okay, do. Okay, okay. I thought we also write the values like we did in the example above. Oh, right? like this sort of thing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, so we'll do this, we'll, we call this symbolical execution, right? We, we're not going to use values or real function. We'll just uh -huh. try okay, to okay. simplify this as much as possible and we might get stuck at some point and okay. then we'll just stop. 
Okay, right, so, so we applied the beta, so the head falls off. Right, so, so the head from here, with, right? So we just yeah, do... Yeah, so we start uh, with the X. Yeah, so we start with this thing. I'm not even sure if this works. Do you? Nope, it doesn't work. Wait. No. Okay, let's see why my copy-paste isn't working. Uh, okay, it's working if I do it properly. Okay, so we have this thing, right? And then uh, we, we say F, right, equals to, and then it's this thing, right? The whole thing. You agree with this, right? Everything's normal, and then we do an A, right? We're not forgetting the A from here. Cool, so let's see what happens when we do this, right? So we have this lambda x, and then we just copy this whole thing here, right? Yeah, oh, but we replace the f with right. the... But then we have to also write the x, right? Mm -hmm. That yeah. makes sense, right? Because yeah. this is f, and then we keep x as it was, and then we don't forget the a here, right? Yeah, and now we add the beta. Uh, yep, we now add the beta, and then we, we kind of have we, we could do two things here. So we could the the most normal thing is to add the a here for x, right? Do the mm -hmm. outermost thing, and then we'll simplify the innermost whenever we later, right? Whenever it gets to it. Okay, so let's do that. So what do we do? Well, this goes away, so we the just copy. X. Okay. We just copy the everything, right? Yeah. Uh, so okay, let's see. We copy this bit here, uh, and then we say, okay, let's parenthesize it, and then we do x equals to a, right? Yeah. Um, okay, so what's the result of this? Well, it's basically the same thing, except that this is a, right? Yeah. Cool, so what can we do now? Uh, now, uh, let's, we let's, let's remove a parenthesis, right? Because we don't need it anymore. So now it's more obvious, right? It's clear that we can do a, a like a beta, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm just so going to copy stuff. So now the y stuff. disappears. Yep. Uh, and then this a, like we say, y equals to a, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so then what's the result here? Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> it's this, right? Because we don't have any y here, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. there's yeah, nothing okay. to do. So we just we keep as it we keep it as it was before. Okay. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And of course, like this doesn't isn't necessarily a very useful function, or like it might not look like it, but I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe it could be right, or it doesn't matter. We just like we just evaluated a something like a result. Yeah. Wouldn't be two beta in a row. Wait, yeah, even wait. here. It yeah. Uh, so let, let's see what did we do here. So here we renamed this and we. Did, oh yeah, I think I just need to remove this because this is a alpha conversion to beta, right? We just uh, yeah. yeah, the last one is not needed. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Vince. You're right. Um, okay, so let's let me um, let me give you an example here, and I'll I, I'll try to to let allow you to to try to evaluate this and see what happens. Okay. So it's let me add a like a space here just to make sure it's very clear, right? So it's kind of the same term, but uh, and then okay, let me let me try to not troll you too much. So this is a space here, right? So it's uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's uh, tr try and see what happens. Okay, so I mean, first of all, we apply the beta, right? Yep. Because, uh, wait, I have to go on the other monitor because it keeps scrolling <laughs> me back up. Okay, so we apply the beta, and now uh, basically it's the same thing as. Uh, um, oh no. Okay. But. Um, well, you kind of need to remove the head from here, right? So this has to go away the lambda x, right? Because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you do I... beta, we kill it, right? We kill the head. Yeah. We cut off the head. <laughs> uh, for some reason, I was thinking of something else, but I don't know why. Not okay, right. so we have xx. Yep, and then we replace x, right? Because that's the head we, we removed. Yeah, but... Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, and... Like, okay, this is where I'm lost now. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, so we have the two functions. Like, uh, it's this one and this mm -hmm. one, right? And... I get rid of the header, and I get x x. Yep. And then you have to say, what do we replace x with? What's the argument? Uh, it's x x, right? 
Well, it's this the whole thing, the whole function of just xx, right? Okay, okay. So it's this thing right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I get. Um... Well, you, you could just write right this syntax, right? X equals two, and then that thing over here. So it's. Yep, that's the correct syntax. Well, it's not just, so it's everything. It's lambda x dot xx. Yeah. Okay, so now if we replace it, what so happens? Now I get, uh, so the first, I get this. Yep. Xx. And now, do I hello, this? hello, no, no, sky, K, no, no, GK. I, uh, I'm having a hard time reading your name, but thank you a lot for, thank you very much for following. Uh, sorry, go no, ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. So this is where my question, uh, my big question comes. Like, do I only replace the first X? No, you have to replace all all X's. All X's. So yep. do I get like another? Um... Yep. Um, okay. Although the thing is, so let me correct the syntax here. Kind of, you have to parenthesize them because, um, uh -huh. like each each of these axes are their own little thing, right? So, so okay. Are you noticing something? Me. Okay. What can you do next? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I just want to add that <laughs> there are no uh, like uh, operators between the letters. So it's, I'm, that's totally uh, fine. It's, yeah. Okay. So what can we so, do now? Now I apply the beta again, and so this one falls, the first head, and no, I get the, the yeah, that, that's, that's correct. Okay, so now I get, do I get rid of this head as well? Nope. You can't. You just no, do the first one. The... Yeah. So you do. Yeah. So now you just do x equals two, right? Because uh, th that's how you do beta, right? You need to do x equals two. But do I write this as well? Uh, well, no, because this is the argument, right? So you're uh, uh, right. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yep. That's correct. So now, what was the result here? So now I just get um, and this. Wait, I need to scroll down a bit. Yep. So now, do you notice something? Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. Don't I just go into a loop? Yep, exactly. So this is a, a known combinator, which is the infinite loop combinator. You can never do anything with it. It's just uh, it just loops forever doing the same okay, thing. I, like that's what was uh, making me like have a brain <laughs> fart because I, I I was going into a loop and I didn't understand how to actually solve it. Yep. So this okay, is okay. Th that's yeah, the okay. whole idea, right? Th this is okay. literally the. Uh, yep. <laughs> It made me feel really stupid. That's no, no, why no. I was getting angry. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to the okay. wild world of bottom. Yeah. <laughs> well, Vince says keep going, you'll get there. Uh, definitely don't <laughs> trust Vince. <laughs> uh, except if by there he means the same thing always, then yeah, you, you'll get there over and over again forever. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, so that's that's the, the whole idea, right? So this you can also write combinators like this, right, which never finish. And this is the simplest example, but there are other examples of combinators that never finish, which are more complicated, but they don't add much value. So I just wanted to show you the simplest one for um, okay. um, just to see an example of that. Yep, Vince is totally right. So it's it's quite tricky to figure this out. So don't worry, you you only did one extra step to figure it out, which is very good. <laughs> you did very well. Um, yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I mean, don't worry if you're like you said you're feeling stupid. You shouldn't, because this like this is not something that people are used to thinking and and reasoning mm -hmm. with and doing, right? So uh, it's uh, definitely expected that it's not natural. To, to, to do these kind of things. Um, okay, cool. So 
I think maybe it's we're let's see what how we're how we're doing on time. Yeah, we're kind of like one hour in. I think we 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 can go into kind of thinking about how to translate these things to pure script.